What does the Armenian community mean to you? To me, what does the Armenian community mean? Perseverance. Uh, it means survival. What's beautiful to me about the Armenian community, it's the ability to connect socially and emotionally without even saying anything to anybody. I respect the blood that was shed to have my child to call himself an Armenian. How much we're there for each other, having each other's back. I recently joined this book club, and in the book club, we're really lucky to have every type of Armenian. We have Armenians from Armenia, you know, Persian Armenians, all of that. The Armenian from Armenia is like, yeah, I feel too Armenian for the community. And then like the other people are like, yeah, I'm only half Armenian, so I don't fit in the community. What I've gathered is no one really feels like they really fit, but they're all just trying their best to make it work. There has for so long been this like stereotypical, one kind of image of the Armenian community. But I think that it's becoming so much more diverse and so much more beautiful. Whether it was through tragedy, whether it was through all the years of suffering, that's why we connect to each other on such an emotional level. And that's something that isn't as easy to explain. You just have to feel it. I took it for granted until recently. Now it means so much more to me. Now it's like a community, it's family, it's everything now. I'm excited because I'm going on a date. I'm pretty sure my friends have impressed her, my family, because uh, <laughs> they're just such great people. So I think I have a good, a good leg up going into this date. I'm really interested in seeing what this person's like, but I'm very nervous because I've never been on a blind date before. So going into the date after meeting his family, it definitely helped me get a sense of what he would be like. I hoped to, you know, be meeting someone who was just like the family described, which was very kind, um, very thoughtful. So hopefully that's what I find. Hi. Hey. I'm Liz. I'm Ari. Nice to, nice meet, to meet you. you I heard so much about you already. Oh, <laughs> can't wait to hear what you heard. After you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I got to meet your lovely family and friends yeah. yesterday. Kind of a backwards uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, format. How do you feel about like people meeting your family first? Is it better or worse? I think it's good. It's I think good? it's good. I think they're a good reflection of me. Okay. I think they, they probably make me seem better, look better <laughs> than I am. They, uh, they set a good backdrop for, uh, for the rest of what you're about to, to you meet. I heard some Oops. controversial things about you. Apparently you have an OnlyFans. Is that oh, yeah, yeah, I can guess who told you that. <laughs> I know exactly who. So you met Dell. Yes. Yeah. He left uh, an impression for sure. Yeah. Like I almost wish I had met him, you know, without the rest of your family there. Yeah. Like your poor mom. <laughs> I, was like, I lived with Dell for four years in St. Louis. What were you doing in St. Louis? Med school. Med school. Okay. Yeah, I'm transitioning to residency. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah, How do you which, feel? A little nervous, but excited. Right now, um, what what I want to do is cancer medicine, so oncology, and that kind of research. So what did you do after you graduated from LA, UCLA? Um, I actually went to Armenia for a bit. So I was a research assistant, was like hating my life. Um, uh -huh. And then I was like, you know what, I'm heading out, I'm going to Armenia. I did an environmental engineering for my oh, undergrad yeah. and also my grad school. Cool. So in between, I worked um, for a research lab that did research on electric vehicle charging stations, which Whoa. sounds so like niche and specific, and it kind of was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, one of my favorite drinks is an Aperol Spritz. Do you ever, have you had an Aperol Spritz? I think I have a long time ago. I don't know if I like it or not. But Do you want to try one? Yeah, I'm, I'm down to try one. Okay. Um, I usually don't have all the ingredients. I usually make them with uh, Aperol and sparkling water. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a, a proper Aperol Spritz. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, I, I think I need to focus, but then I was gonna kind of wing it and see if I can multitask and do both. I do this all the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Actually, you right. could have fooled me. Yeah. <laughs> all right, so I don't know what the order is supposed to be. I'm kind of just winging this, like, half or three quarters of this. Are you, like, a, do you, are you, like, an aficionado of, like, wine or, like, any sort of, uh, 
liqueur. Not no. at all. <laughs> Not at all. All right, good. <laughs> I think going into the third one, I have now at this point really become aware and comfortable with vocalizing what I want, what I'm looking for in someone. And I think like my family and friends are having a good time with it. As an Armenian mom, <coughs> to get to know the man who's gonna court your daughter, the person who's coming into your house should be somebody that I like, should be somebody who her dad likes. If you guys want, follow me over here. I'll just introduce you quickly. My name is Alexan Giragosyan. Uh, I go by Alex in my professional circles, but Alexan among Armenians, because they can pronounce it. I am 33 years old, and I am a city attorney by profession. Like, I'm a public official. I can't go on, like, I can't go on a dating show. If the, the objective is, you know, to highlight some of these cool community stuff we have in LA as, as they relate to Armenians. I was like, yeah, that, that's something, I feel like I can contribute to that. Between the Armenian school and the church, that's kind of like where I got my start. I'm from Pasadena, we're currently in Pasadena. This is St. Gregory Armenian Church. So, so as a kid, uh, I started here when I was about 10 years old. I uh, started serving on the altar because my grandpa was a deacon. Uh, a deacon is the highest rank short of a priest. And the deacon is the one that basically assists the priests and so I started serving at 10, and I, and I continue to serve today. Uh, it's, it's, I think it's a pretty big part of my life. What I think is particularly cool about it is because it's really just opened up a lot of doors for me. So it's, it's like a community gathering space, which is it's really nice. It's not just something you do on a Sunday. So folks, this is Hovsepian Armenian School, one of the three Armenian schools here in Pasadena. Honestly, when you go to Armenian school, it's, it's such a unique experience. It's not like public school where you're a number. I remember when I went in 10th grade, they assigned me an ID number. Uh, and I thought that was really weird because I was like, I have a name, why do I need a number? My graduating class had 18 students. We were a family. And we continue to uh, like maintain those relationships. And that's the same for every Armenian school. Here we have the, the principal of the Armenian school and my, and my former English teacher actually back at Sag Mestrov. What's up, Alex? Uh, Hi, How are you, sir? This man, I just want to introduce him had a very big impact on my life. He was my English teacher, and I don't know if I ever told you this, you're the first person to ask me in my life, you're the first person to ask me, what do you think? Oh, wow. And no, no one ever asked me that. No one ever asked me what I think. And you guys were young. You guys were yeah, I was like fifth, sixth, sixth grade. grade. Yeah. I appreciate you, sir. Thank you, Thank sir. you for what you do. So now, we're at Pasadena's Armenian Genocide Memorial. A lot of the people that came to Pasadena back 100 years ago came because of the genocide. The three, this three-pronged structure right here, it's actually supposed to represent gallows. It's like where they hung people. For those who don't know, uh, during the Armenian genocide, there were, it happened in three phases. So it happened in 1915, that was the beginning. And in 1915, the first wave of it, they took all the public intellectuals, right? So like all the thinkers, all the uh, writers, the community leaders, and then they hung them in public squares like this, right? So they, so they killed them. The Republic of Turkey doesn't recognize it. Uh, we're still fighting to preserve our ancient historic sites that remain on that land. Uh, the land is gone. The people are gone. They're, they're currently destroying the culture. Uh, whatever remains we have, whatever structural remains we have continue to be to, to deteriorate and are often vandalized and destroyed. In the middle here, you can kind of see the eternity symbol, one of the Armenian symbols we use, it's like pre-Christian actually. They've also planted a bunch of pomegranate trees, pomegranate being another uh, symbolic characteristic of Armenian culture. I think Armenians are politically and socially conscious. I think we all recognize that we are the descendants of refugees from the desert. Part of the reason why I like to volunteer at the homeless shelter is because I see in these homeless people in California a sense of empathy really is what it comes down to. I empathize with their situation because my grandparents were there not too long ago, maybe a hundred years ago, right? I always say relationships are hard enough. Then when you add a layer of like cultural differences and then there's the whole issue of like maybe the families don't accept it, that complicates things a lot, I think. The benefit of dating at 33 and having dated a lot of people is you kind of get to know what you like. Uh, Career-wise, things are really taken off and it's been hard to make time to meet people. But that, that period of time when I'm not working isn't often because I work a lot. But if 
like relationships are made or I meet people, it's totally organically through some kind of like event where I meet somebody or through some kind of introduction or through, let's say, like a dating show about Armenians. Like those are, these are the only ways I'm going to meet Armenian people at this point. Are you ready for today? I'm really ready. Let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> what are you guys expecting here today? I know as second cousin, best friends. Vanessa has a strong character and I think she's oh, really? the queen of being true to herself and doing things that feel right to her. I'm also curious about just his background, given that our life was so kind of unique Agreed. and our community is so specific, how involved he's been and just to see how that would flow with her lifestyle. Correct. It's true. <laughs> Did you trust her? I just trust her. Hello. Nice to meet you all. Hi. What was your name? I'm sorry. My, my name's Alex Son. Alex Son. Yeah, or you call me Alex, but Armenians call me Alex Son. Oh, okay. nice. I didn't want to show up empty handed, so I brought this. Oh, thank you. Dried fruit and pomegranate wine. If wow. wow. <laughs> good impressions. Good impression. Thank We'd you. like to get to know you a little. <laughs> I'm Vanessa. You're not Vanessa. 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 Oh, Vanessa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> I look forward I, to I going. Vanessa, oh, I'm sorry. Can you tell us a little about yourself? Uh, well, so I'll start with uh, like what I do. Maybe I'm yeah. a I'm a city attorney. Oh. Um, I I don't know what schools Vanessa went to, but I went to UCLA for grad school and I went to uh, Irvine for. Perfect. Perfect. She Yeah. Family-wise. Family-wise, yeah. Okay, so family-wise, uh, my dad is from Iran. My mom's side's from Lebanon, and when the Civil War broke out, then they came here. Okay. okay. So your parents met here met in here? the U.S.? They, they met at Glendale Community College. Oh. Wow. 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 That's fantastic. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I think I I definitely messed up. So if you don't like it, you should give Aperol Spritzes another chance. Let's try. I'm try it. I'm scared I'm going to spill it everywhere. Try not to like spit Cheers. it out. All at once. It's not bad. I yeah, don't know. I don't know what an Aperol is supposed to taste like, but Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's no Aperol in here. <laughs> I uh, I can only imagine this is not the best drink <laughs> cocktail you've had considering it's not the worst. It's not the worst? <laughs> All right, I'll take that. Do you have hobbies? Do you have anything that you... So I love to read, and I love cool. to do yoga, and I also bake a lot. Really? Um, and then the new hobby that I picked up over quarantine was learning languages. So I'm trying to improve nice. my Armenian, and I'm trying to like get back into Spanish. I just started rollerblading as like one of my quarantine hobbies. Got it. Yeah. So are you more of like a daredevil? Like, would you like bungee jump, skydive, like all those sort of things? It depends. I think I take calculated risks. You know, there's a lot of things I wouldn't like jump out with a squirrel suit, you know? <laughs> I think I have like somewhat of an adventurous spirit, I you know? See. But, you know, there's like, mm -hmm. there's a little, I have like an Armenian mom in me, like, you <laughs> yeah, know, make sure I have my jacket mom. when I walk so outside, you yeah. know? <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm very risk averse. I'm not accident prone per se, but just, you know, things like I got a concussion from sledding. And ever oh, no. since then, you know, I uh, <laughs> just, I just yeah. don't, I don't put myself out there. Yeah. yeah. And after that happened, all my friends were like, all right, Liz, we, we won't, we won't yeah. make you do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you mix dialects? Uh, yeah, I do. It's actually it was really confusing as a uh -huh. kid, honestly. Yeah. I went to Armenian school in Altadena. Okay. Uh, and at, in school, everyone taught you Western Armenian. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So at my grandparents' home, they speak Eastern Armenian because they're Barskahai. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah. I would conjugate Western Armenian yeah. words in an Eastern Armenian dialect, and no one understood what I was talking about. <laughs> it was like very it was like a very confusing experience. But like anyway, I'm glad I'm glad I went through that because now I could like quickly switch between dialects oh, and really? okay, fantastic. Yeah, That's I feel awesome. I feel comfortable in like any circle of Armenian people. So Sports. Do you enjoy oh, yeah. sports? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How can we forget sports? Yeah. sports. I, I'll be honest. Not really. I'm okay. not a sports person. Okay. okay. Will you catch and watch? Yeah, a game? yeah. Like I, I go to. I don't watch it on TV just because like I'm not that into sports. But I enjoy going to like tailgates and I enjoy going to games because the experience is fun. Yeah. So what was like the longest relationship that you have been in? Yeah, long. Uh, nine years, I think. I was engaged at one point. Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, So if you were gonna have me meet your family and friends, who would you have me meet? 
So you definitely would meet my sister and my brother. My sister <laughs> gave me some interesting advice leading up to this. Okay. She told me to pay attention to your eyebrows. The oh. eyebrows make the man is what she said. So I think you're passing so far. I don't know. So far? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Your family convinced me you had a unibrow. Yeah, so I was gonna yeah. say, you know, it's a good thing I have two, right? Unless like maybe you know, classic Armenian I lore. I was gonna say, I think we need to bring back the unibrow. Yeah, like, that's my my new initiative. Okay. Maybe like <laughs> natural. You know, if, if we last like date five, that's <laughs> probably grow it out. yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I want to see yeah. it in all its glory. <laughs> yeah. All that comes to mind right now is I'm glad you came after like what you went through. What do you talk to my family <laughs> <laughs> or my friends? Mainly, my it friends. was mainly your friends. Yeah, yeah. All right. Yeah. I had a great time. Yeah, this it was, was really nice meeting nice. you. It was really nice to finally meet you. Yeah, likewise. You're exactly what Del said you would be. Really? <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Um, it's probably a bad thing. I mean, it's 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 interesting. But it's interesting. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> my first impression was uh, cute girl. Yeah. <laughs> I think he held up the conversation really well. I think there's definitely something there uh, in terms of friendship, for sure. In terms of like romantic interest, I don't know. It was like my second girlfriend. She's a great person, just didn't work out. So anyway, it was like a very adult breakup. We were both on good terms. Yeah. 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 So are you still in contact with, do you guys remain friends? We remain friends, but she's not in the state anymore, so. Yeah. Okay. Don't see her or anything, but yeah. yeah, she's still my friend. Yeah. It's and it's hard not to be when someone well, has been in my life for nine yeah. years, no, no. unless it ends on difficult terms. Right. Um, right. It'd be, I'd be shocked if you weren't friends with yeah. that right. person. Right. Yeah. Can That's I it. ask what you're looking for? In what I'm world. looking for. Yeah. Obviously, it's like a partner. Uh -huh. um, the the partner, and when I say partner, it's like someone that shares my interests, shares my values. And like, I just enjoy spending time with. In terms of just like people in general, like the number one trait I look for is empathy. Mm. Vanessa is very professional, you know? She sets her mind to something, she'll carry it through. She is very confident, yeah. but very not, confident. In a, not in an arrogant yeah, way. No, She's, there, yeah. there is such humility. Um, she lights up a room, she yeah. really, really does. She like, sounds amazing, so I'm looking forward to Bottom line her. is, you will see. Yeah. You will see. And ultimately, to. you guys will be the judge of Correct. whether you guys get along Correct. or not. Right. Nice meeting you all. Nice you know? It was a pleasure. Yeah. Yeah. It was a pleasure. Yeah, yeah. Nice so meeting much. you all. Oh, yeah, for sure. Thank, Thank you very much. That was thoughtful. very, very thoughtful. You're very welcome. I couldn't come to the home empty handed. <laughs> My mom would kill yeah. me. <laughs> I, I mean, I think it went well. The, the conversation kind of flowed naturally. Um, they seem like really nice people. Uh, they love their daughter, that's very clear. I, I learned that Vanessa, I'm just gonna repeat to you what they told me. She's high energy, she's super organized, she loves to travel. So yeah, I mean, it sounds like, it sounds like we get along. Yeah. Gotta find out. Well, he made a very good first impression with me. Uh, came in with wine, pomegranate wine. <laughs> yes and candy. He talked about, you know, the, being an equal, and, you know, I interpreted that as, you know, an equal in all things, right? Yeah. And that, and a partner. But he did mention a lot of time constraints with work. I yeah. know. Did. That caught yeah. my, that yeah. caught my, that was just, my yeah. He's gonna have to make time because she will, again, you know, she makes time for everything. He's busy, but she's busy, but she does make time. No questions asked. Mm. You think you she actually like passed, him? you actually were good through this. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I thought the family meetup actually was, it was helpful. I got a sense of who her, who her siblings are, who her parents are. So I'm looking forward to meeting her in person so I can get a real sense of who she is. I am about to walk into my third date and I'm thinking I'm a professional dater now. I have got this on lock. I feel like this next one, if it, if it works, it works. So let's see what happens.